Welcome to Crash Dummies Podcast, episode 89. It's your host. Damn, it's 89? Patrick. Holy shit. And this is your host, Michael. Um, follow us. Subscribe. Get on that Patreon, man. Big thing's about to happen. This is the last one in this yeah. video. It's last. Max's last episode, first episode is this. <laughs> no, like, boy, did two episodes in this studio. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> but this, you know, we moving on to from this studio. Uh, a lot of memories here. More bad than good, man. Fuck this place. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hate it here. Um, so, yeah, we're moving to the new studio. So you can expect, uh, hopefully, you know, that means that we can start letting people. We had a couple offers for, you know, big time people to come on the podcast. Yeah. But we just didn't, you know, feel comfortable with them. And we're going to start doing back background check on you. Man, <laughs> and it, I think sometimes it's like the thing that um, would the audience even give a fuck? That's true. <laughs> That's the main. We gotta thing. make it make sense. For yeah, y'all, because there's been like some decent, like, like I would say, like B plus list celebrities. Yeah. Riley Reed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Riley Reed. Yeah, she listens. Yeah, she wants. But Matt got excited. <laughs> she asked about you. <laughs> Shut up, bro. She's married. <laughs> Huh? She's married. She has a baby. <laughs> that boy copping out already. <laughs> said, There's no way. <laughs> There's no way she wants me. <laughs> you know when your friend do that? Yeah. I like her, but there's no way. Like, get your uh, insecure ass oh, yeah. on my face. Max did, made a mistake last episode. Oh, this dude got us calling. <laughs> you called. When we asked for Cardi, Cardi B's, B's real name, you told us it was Jordan. It was Playboy Cardi. Yeah, I said Play, Playboy Cardi's real name is... Jordan Carter. But we asked no, so Cardi B. B. I didn't even know you asked that for Cardi B's name. <laughs> you, guys just we'll, said, you guys just said. We'll get killed in the comments. They're like. Really? <laughs> Are you yeah. kidding? Some dude was like really mad. He was like, I've never seen anybody disrespect Playboy Cardi. <laughs> like, man, go clean your fucking room. Man. <laughs> the fuck is you talking to? <laughs> nah, but not nah, for real. I can this, get it for you now. What? Cardi B's real name. <laughs> they already, they already, they already, spa- said they they already spammed it. it. Sorry, they already spammed it, man. Damn. We got the smartest uh, supporters on earth, man. <laughs> but I was, this is what made me realize that, when, like, if you walk in, like, a Starbucks in the suburbs, it's different from walking in a Starbucks in the hood. And not just, obviously, the surrounding area. They got but, Starbucks in the hood? Yeah, like, near the, you know, like. Yeah. You know they put it in right in between, <laughs> like nigga, not too far. <laughs> Don't come over to the suburbs now. We'll give you a Starbucks, but um, but yeah. So you, this dude walked into the Starbucks, which I was in the one in the burbs, and he walked in, and you know he having a good time. He look around, he talking to people. He go sit down, and he look at me like he embarrassed, and hurry up and look down. So I'm like, damn, why he looking like that? So. I look at him again, then he look over to see if I'm looking at him. He looking embarrassed. Like, he didn't say hi to everybody in this bitch but me. So I'm like, what the fuck? And I look down, and this nigga ankles ashy. <laughs> so he, <laughs> he in front of all these white people, ashy as hell, because you know they don't care. They're yeah. like, what's up, Jamal? How you doing, man? Hey, man, state championship, man. We love you. <laughs> nigga still in the town 20 years later. But uh, <laughs> the nigga don't never leave. <laughs> but he looked at me and nigga ankles actually, and he know I saw that shit. <laughs> but now but now he don't want to talk no more. Everybody coming up to him like, what's up? Like, he he trying to act hard now. Like, nigga, I seen your ankles, Ashley. I know what type of nigga you is. Why was his ankles showing? Uh, huh? What was he wearing exactly. his ankles? Exactly. He been in the burst too long. You know, your ankles get to showing. A boy having a good time. He didn't know he was going to run into another nigga. I got bullied into wearing socks in my flip-flops. By who? Just like everybody keeps saying, oh, why are you barefoot? With the flip flop, that's how they really supposed to be. Worn. You know, you know, like that's where you know some mm-hmm. some depending on where you raised. Like, I feel like if you're raised around the beach, like they don't play that shit. Like them people, they be like, man, why the fuck you got your socks on? Nah, socks on the so beach I, is crazy. It's insane. I, I, seen, I never judge, but it's like oh, I seen a nigga. I seen a nigga when he take his shoes off. Yeah. I said, oh, you from the <laughs> you from like North Omaha or some shit. <laughs> like what the fuck? Nah, wearing socks on the beach is is, is Pretty insane, especially just like the aftermath of everything. Now you just got the sandiest socks, and those you know when you get sand in anything, is that shit stays on you or yeah. in your in your items and shit like that for like weeks. Yeah. So do that to your fucking socks. That's why I, you know what I'm saying. I love the hood. You know, I love to go back home, but I hate the beach in the hood. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> they got Mike and Mary jeans on with a Gucci belt on the beach and shit. Like, come on, bro. 
<laughs> no, we suck. Put, put, we suck as black people. We suck at uh, beach attire. Yeah, yeah, especially the especially men. No, no, I wouldn't say women do. No, no, not women. Men for sure. Yeah, man, like black man, we definitely. Man, like, we used to wear <laughs> used to wear cool. like boxes under my swimming trunks and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's true. <laughs> Oh man! Anyway, well, not good, man. Not good. <laughs> but St. Patrick's Day, we jump higher though. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we celebrate St. Patrick's Day so much in America? Like they have, per- they, but there's not. I know there's a lot of Irish people, but it's like why that? There's not like Italian uh, Italian holiday. There probably is at oh, that that's at that what scale. You're saying. Like they I, got it. I mean, it must have been a lot of Irish people in America they, back then. They do a, uh, the parades and stuff like that, and we did, you know Black History Month. They didn't do a parade. It would count like the marches or something. No, that. Juneteenth is a parade. They have a parade? Yeah, Juneteenth. Yeah. For real? Yeah, yeah. I'd never seen like a Macy's. It's like like a, they used yeah. to televise that shit. Oh, you mean like that? At that level where people are walking that outside. many black people on TV at the same time? <laughs> yeah. You know that people don't know how to act. <laughs> that should be lit, though. The problem with St. Patty's Day is every, like it's celebrated the whole month of March, but no one knows the date of like St. Patty's Day. Isn't the 17th? I mean, some people know, but, like, most people just, like, celebrate, like, there's, like, shamrock shuffles and shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, like, right, right, right. It's somebody that. <laughs> and then it's St. Patrick's Day comes and no one. Yeah. 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 I, I do listen to Dr. Umar every day, but he got on St. Patrick's bees. Like, pick a side, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> you with the, either with the revolution or you not. I feel like it's anything America can monetize off of, they'll make it yeah, a holiday. Yeah, don't get money. If I That's why I don't think, well, Juneteenth was a thing, but the way they did it was. Like Walmart started doing the like the Kente yeah. uh, box uh, Cheerios and you shit. You know, you saw all the the chicken places did. What they said everything was extra crispier for that month. <laughs> These niggas is racist, man. <laughs> That's all they give us. <laughs> <laughs> it's always funny seeing when we talk about this, like when we talk about like the black white type of stuff. Mm-hmm. Seeing Max's reaction, I mean, he <laughs> always bow. <laughs> I just look the other way. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't know whether to laugh at this. Yeah. Or <laughs> You know, Max wasn't racist, but he was just watching the march from the window. Like, hey, <laughs> hey my Martin and them uh, marching again. <laughs> you can't go, Max. Okay, I just watch. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> Why are they running back? <laughs> so I still know what to say. <laughs> but uh, Tay K was calling Is his girl. Go ahead. I said Tay K was uh, talking to his girl. TK got a girlfriend? Yeah. When he get out? <laughs> never. <laughs> that's not funny. That's not funny that he's never getting out, but. But it's not. Don't think I, don't, I don't know, because I don't. I, I don't even know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Because they say he did the shit that he did then. I ain't in that, man. But. Well, whatever. But a girlfriend is like, that's pretty good, though, for him. He must got game. I don't know what he's got, telling her. They got phones in prisons now, right? Some prisons. Yeah, I guess. I mean. They, they, got, got, I, they got FaceTimes in yeah, some Yeah, they can prisons. FaceTime. I mean. Hey, but I'm just saying though, like that, there's a lot of girls that would date Tay K. Yeah, but knowing he's never getting out, she probably knows that date right. Meaning that she's probably doing her own thing outside of prison, right? Maybe, or she could be loyal. <sighs> there, I think there comes a time limit with the holding my man down that's in prison. I mean, nuns hold God down the whole time; they don't have sex. Maybe Tay K is her God. <laughs> oh my God, she's a nun for Tay K. <laughs> But anyway, there's like a thing. Uh, what's like monks? Are those the ones that don't have sex, or is it Mormons? I don't know why. I thought you were about to call me a monkey. <laughs> no, no. God damn it, bro. <laughs> Never mind, bro. But I'm no. so fucked up, Max. I'm sorry. I thought you called us some monks. So like, <laughs> he abbreviated monkey. Yeah. Well, they do like this thing, like because they can't have sex, so they just stick it in and they just leave it a little bit. <laughs> I swear. I swear to God. Yeah. That's how monks there's have a, sex. They just put like it name, in. There's a name for it, but I don't know the name. Inside of a girl? Yeah, they just it's they just put it in because they can't like have like have sex. So they just put it in and then leave it there. <laughs> Isn't that sex? <laughs> no, because they're not fucking. No. <laughs> hey, hey. no. Imagine, imagine a nigga in prison for thrusting. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's still if it's, I feel like if it's penetration, it's sex, no matter what. Nah, that's not I mean by no, the it's, hell it's no. one it's one singular in and then it's I don't know how long they go in for it and then they take it out. Probably gotta just be a slow in. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) It out. It out. (laughs) Bro, (laughs) sorry. (laughs) Oh my god. Hey, hey, hey. how you going? I got a I got a game to play. I got a game to play. 
You're going. We're gonna play. <laughs> Guess who's <laughs> who's rapping this? Okay. A bright shining star. Everywhere I look, there you are. There you are. It's the girl in the green dress. She took my breath away, and now I look to the sky for a better day. I know this voice. I met a fly girl and I can't relax. Never had to be on a movie screen. Cause she's the leading lady in all my dreams. Come on. Alright. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, is it <laughs> is it A, Michael B. Jordan? B Twister? I mean Lil Twist. Uh, or <laughs> just pick between those two. It's Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> I knew I heard that voice before, and I heard it in the, on, from Friday Night. I was trying to think it was somebody that didn't sound too obvious. No, that's definitely. What, I, is, what is that from? I don't know. It was just like an old video of him that nigga rapping. Try everything. <laughs> everything. I didn't even know he was that old. Yeah, I didn't know he was old. I thought we were the same age. Yeah, he's thirty. He's damn near forty. No, he is forty. No, he's not forty. He's not forty. He's like 36. 40. How much you want to bet? Best bet, best bet, best bet, best bet, bet. You must already looked it up. I haven't looked it up. How old is Mike B. Jordan? He's 36. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> I, knew, I knew me getting the age nah, right. I reason I, let me tell you, the reason I knew nah. is when they were doing the little Lori Harvey and, and the age difference. Mm-mm-mm. Caught you. Right-handed. Another Michael B. Jordan fan. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I can't like Michael B. Jordan or know his age. No, you good. Um, Me and him the homies though Oh oh, my bad I want to do this from now on the podcast Moment of silence This moment of silence Is for It's four niggas right now Riding around in the Honda And none of them niggas getting no money (laughs) Alright You hearing this At least drop one of y'all off Like god damn (laughs) Broke ass niggas (laughs) A Honda is not a bad car No I'm just saying They not get They ain't got no job it's just four of them riding around. <laughs> just riding just in driving. the car? Mm-hmm. Going nowhere? Yep. Do you know anybody like that? Yeah, I know a couple of people like that. Like they, don't, they have no purpose like in life? People would be like, bro, <laughs> where are you getting your money from? I will never see you at work. <laughs> nah. You ever, you ever, nah, that's hate. You ever take a vacation? <laughs> yeah, one time I took a vacation. I was on the game with my friend. I was like, damn, you, you available all the time. He's like, yeah, man, hit me up. I'm like. <laughs> Where do you work at? <laughs> I get asked that sometimes. What? Like, what do I do for a living? No, you don't. I do. I get asked that a lot because people don't know what I do. They I, look, they, <laughs> what? Come on, go ahead. What? I was about to say sell drugs. I don't sell drugs, but you do. Did you hear about this uh, state trooper that was hitting uh, a vape pen on camera in back of a car, and he got super high. So he confiscated some a vape pen from a person that was um like at a traffic stop. Mm-hmm. He asked him what it was. He said it was, I think he said CBD or whatever. So he then tests it himself to see the taste. And then I just hear what he kind of said about it. Started hitting on it. I accidentally inhaled THC, as stupid as that sounds. And I felt it fill up my lungs. I pushed it out as fast as I could. And there was smoke everywhere. I never seen anything smoke so much. I did not mean to inhale it. I mean, I smoked weed before Highway Patrol. I told them whenever I, I came in, I told them all about that. That's embarrassing. I was wigged out. <laughs> He's so good. And, and then like, he was like going through it. This trooper stopped. <laughs> it's just one of those things. <laughs> Why is he smoking the evidence? Why are you putting your mouth on my shit? <laughs> the fuck? A cop doing that is kind of insane. That's kind of insane. And then be like, I was just doing it for taste. <laughs> he was trying like, to taste it. Was, it was nah. a he was trying to taste if it was THC. Like, yeah, nigga, this that hybrid. <laughs> Fuck this ass. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds wigged out. I've never felt anything like this before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he he has some real shit. This ain't no uh, homegrown shit. <laughs> <laughs> that your neighbor selling down there with all them yeah. C's in it. It's that real <laughs> shit. <laughs> he inhaled that shit and started firing his gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh shit. He talking about and I told them before that I will not smoke weed. I told them before I did that. You gotta do all that, nigga. You need a new job. <laughs> If I can't smoke weed after coming home from being a cop, <laughs> how many times I got called a pig today? I need the blunt. <laughs> I need to hit that shit. Oh, man. Remember that one group of, oh, man, the long neck dude, the wide neck dude? Yeah, the eyes. The eyes. The mouth dude. Yeah. You just put your mouth in. Where, where are all these people? 
back in their regular lives. That was a <laughs> that was a decent trend though. They probably do like cameo. Well, you know cameo. Yeah, they yeah. do. Yeah, I don't know who trying to get. I mean, like There's I see a lot of people. Well, then. Yeah, th- but the, it's like all of them struggling. Nobody we, check on we, them. Yeah, we we talked about this before too. But like, even like a what's his name, A Town. Yeah. Um, Good morning to you. The uh, bur- uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he was talking about like um because he's on a weight loss weight loss journey. He's actually losing his freaking eyesight. But he was talking about like how everybody kind of like abandoned him and stuff like that after, after all that stuff. This shit happened, but I'm just saying it's kind of crazy because it sucks because they that means they, they all have some good management around. Yeah, them, and so. it's just like really like I don't know. There's the longevity in it, and it's they like, probably wasn't getting paid from none of them videos. Nah, and I, people was probably taking them videos and stealing the content of it and getting the money. Especially off of where it. a lot of those dudes came from, they weren't making any money before. So if like if they do an ad deal for you and you get twenty grand for it, they probably taking. <laughs> like 16 They're probably taking 18. 19 And then taking them shopping Like yeah. yeah bro You get whatever you want Yeah It's I don't know And then they only get a $2,000 worth of stuff Um You know one thing I hate what? <laughs> I always love when you like, like start You know what I hate <laughs> But no One thing I hate Is when people More th- You hate multiple things actually. I, I Shut the fuck up But, <laughs> <laughs> Go but What I hate is When people take a picture and then in the caption, say, excuse my background. Bitch, go fix it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, excuse my son's shitty diaper in the background. <laughs> no, that's it. <laughs> Pick it up. <laughs> that's insane. It's, excuse my cracked mirror. Use another one. Like, what the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> or like, di- the dirty mi- mirror pics? Yeah, it's like. <laughs> dirty <laughs> mirror. It's like you don't have any Windex on hand. <laughs> I, how often do you buy Windex now? Never. <laughs> what do you clean mirrors with? I feel like it never disappeared. I, I, I feel like I have the same like bottle of Windex or whatever the brand is now. Um, they do a really good job. The, you need what you need about two, three sprays. Yeah, yeah. Wipe. You know what I'm saying? Kind of satisfying too. Not gonna lie, like just wiping that shit down. That should turn you on or something. No. <laughs> good answer. That's also. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yo. Yo. What's good, man? You know who this is? Uh, the lame ass motherfucker from the Carry W podcast. <laughs> oh, man. oh, that's insane. Then who answered your phone? <laughs> that was me. No, who answered your phone the first time? Yeah, yeah, nah, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. Wait, what you mean? Somebody answered the phone for you. Yeah. Yeah. Who answered the phone what for you? you? That was me. That wasn't you. It was a, a woman's voice. <laughs> Bro, that was me. <laughs> what? Whoa. <laughs> you the same person? Yeah, like the same person. No! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, go switch back. Wait, switch back. I, okay, so I'll do a countdown, okay? Yeah, yeah. I, I'll, I'll like count. I'll come from like 10 to 1, and then like, I try to listen, and I'm like, right, okay? <laughs> okay, so 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, <laughs> 2, 1. <laughs> hey, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Why nah, be your normal voice? Nah. Don't do that. <laughs> you can, hey, you, you can talk. You can, you can talk in that, in that squeaky voice, but you can't laugh in that voice. We're not having that. <laughs> talking that squeaky voice. <laughs> no way, bro. Wait. I don't know, because it was like, I've been doing it for like a year or two. Maybe, I think longer, but I don't know. You want to know what's crazy? Nigga, <laughs> like, I want to know how you find out you could do this shit. It, like, I don't know. I remember I was on the game, and I was just like, throw me ring, and it was kind of like, okay. So, like, uh, I like, I guess I just practiced it more, and then like, I got good at it, so I started doing YouTube with it, and I was like, hey, hold on, this shit kind of funny. So, for the most part, I just started practicing it, and I got, like, really good. So, I don't know. <laughs> nah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, just because nobody else can do it don't mean it's talent, nigga. <laughs> Wait, this the only voice I you know how to do? You, you know how to do an Obama or nothing? <laughs> nah, I'm not like that, no. I can just do the voice impression. But, I think uh, almost, that nigga, a, hey, that nigga almost laughed into his deep voice. You saw that? That nigga said, "It is." <laughs> 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 
when you real laugh, when you laugh too hard, it go deep, huh? Pause. <laughs> Hey yo, pause hey, yo. mic in the chat. What? What? How is it me? I didn't even say anything. Are you the one here oh, no, talking man. like a girl? That nigga here talking like a valley girl. But you talking about going deep? I, I that wasn't me that said it, you idiot. Hey, hey, one of So that's the only voice impression you can do. Uh, yeah, for the most part, literally. But I practice a lot of like accents and stuff like that. Yeah, but I'm not really good at it. You know. That's not bad. That was pretty good, yeah. Uh, I, thank I, you, thank you. I don't know uh, how that stops you from working at Taco Bell, but... <laughs> 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 hey, it's something. I don't know. No, nah, that's pretty good, though. That, that's all you got? So thank you got you. the light voice and what's that, Australian or something? <laughs> I mean, I guess it's Aussie, but it's more of a British accent, yeah, yeah but... British? Yeah, it's well, I mean, but you're not international, so I don't think you'd understand. Can yet. you do a British girl? Uh, for the most part, no, but I, I think it's pretty good, yeah. It sounds more Australian, if anything, but I think it's pretty good, but I don't know. No, you need to go ahead and, like, start your own cartoon, bro. You got all the voice actors. <laughs> Don't yeah, lie, stop dude. laughing with the voice. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, get out of the voice. They come back regular. Hold on. <laughs> hey, when we do, when we talking <laughs> serious, <laughs> you got a multiple, you got a multiple uh, personality disorder. How did I? I, I, I low key diagnosed stuff with that. And I was like, nah, I ain't, I ain't crazy like that, bro. <laughs> you so, so where are you where are you going with this talent though? Now you discovered it. What do you want to do with it though? I mean, I, I try YouTube with it, like voice acting on the game and stuff like that. I got a couple thousand subscribers. And oh, fire, fire! It kind of came to down. I mean, but I had to stop eventually because like the living situation. But then it was like, eh, I don't know. I, I kind of want to get into voice acting, but I don't know. Who to get in contact with, dude? Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. we we might have some connections for you. So, yeah. Oh, but, where? Yeah, sure. shout, shout out your... Um, we'll, 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 we'll mention you to some people, but if they say fuck you, they say fuck you. But, hey. Hey, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> man, shout your IG out and shit out, man. And, and any voice you want, go ahead. And any voice you want, but just don't giggle in your girl voice, please. <laughs> I just said to me. I'm trying not to, but it's like, I'm talking to her. Bro, you can, how can you not control that? You can literally control your voice. I know, but it's like, when I laugh, it's just like. Oh my God. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Follow my Instagram at ASAPJune, A-S-A-P-J-U-N-E. Um, that's about it. And my TikTok is the same, ASAPJune. <laughs> hey, man. What the fuck you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> This is stay good. I I appreciate you coming on the show. Uh, <laughs> they, you actually they, yeah, bro. Oh yeah. <laughs> you, hey, you really they them. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, man. All right, All right peace. Man, All right, them. Hey, my bad. I'm busy, y'all. Damn, straight up. You live yeah. right now. Nah, you straight. You go ahead. Go ahead, though. You sure? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. What you doing? Uh, I'm in my car. I'm about to go uh, meet up with some clients real quick. Oh, how long you got? Like a good 20 minutes. Oh, that's all we need. Oh, all right. Bet, bet, bet. All right. You you from Mike, you from YouTube? What you have to say? We said what? Did you have a story? Or did you want to, you want to be on a podcast, right? Yeah. You I mean, had- I got a I mean, I had a story, but it's a little bit complicated. How's it complicated? Because it was with my ex and her brother. What happened? I shot him. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> you shot your ex? Good. You shot your ex's brother? Yeah. We got in a bit. So it was it was self defense. I won that case. <laughs> so I, that's, why, that's why I can talk about it, you know. But um, nah, we had got in a big ass argument because he thought when we went to the club, I was talking to one of the uh, one of the strippers. I wasn't. It was my twin brother, <laughs> and what ended up happening was she didn't know he was there because we went separate, and. She thought I was tipping him. Uh, what was it called? She thought I was tripping. 
but I wasn't tripping. What's that? What's that noise? Oh, no. oh, hold on. Somebody called me. Let me let me decline real quick. <laughs> what type of what kind of what kind of phone you got? <laughs> so I said, no, it's on it's on vibrate. It's on vibrate. What kind nah, of phone is that? Go ahead. This nigga got a sidekick. Come on, hurry up. Hey, <laughs> hey yo, no. I got hell no. Nah, you ain't got to announce your phone. We got that much hey, time. Nah, got a Samsung Galaxy X five two three zero. <laughs> nigga got the, nigga got the yo, best camera in the world, but the Snapchat sucks. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Crazy. <laughs> nah, I nigga, just... nah, it be the nigga, it be the niggas who still use Uber talking shit. That's crazy. <laughs> now I saw you on Skype the other day. Go ahead, though, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I saw your MySpace profile, nigga. <laughs> you nah. fuck old women, nigga. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a wild response, bro. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, you touch on lizard dick. Oh, Anyways, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. All right. Well, no, no, no. Real shit, though. So, so back to the story. So, she thought I was tripping because she thought I was drunk. I was drunk, but I wasn't talking to the stripper. <laughs> okay. But, um, and then she told her brother later on, I find out her brother comes out the club, and she told her brother that I hit her, but nobody hit her. Nobody touched her. So then, I'm like I told you, I'm 6'8". You got to jump to swing on me. Her brother's like five, four, five, five. So I'm like, why is this little nigga trying to swing on me? When he's knowing I'm beating his ass before. That's why I'm still with his, well, that's why I still was with his sister. Um, And I'm like, bro, I done fucked you up before. Why do I got to do it again now, especially in public, in front of other people? You're just going to embarrass yourself. So this time he had a gun. But I, from when you have, when you own a gun, and you see another gun, you don't know if it's real or fake. Right. So he had, this nigga had an airsoft gun. Well, I, I find out afterwards. So I pull my gun out, and I shoot. I don't think. Because one, he, he started running towards me with the gun. So that's already me being to my sister's friends mode. So I shoot him in the leg, and I shoot him in the other leg. So the nigga's crippled now. And no, like real life crippled? Yeah, he's real life crippled. I make fun of him to this day. Um, but that's the title point. Shut so, that nigga down. <laughs> yep. Shut that nigga's ego down. Not he in the wheelchair. He's getting pushed around. But um, so besides that, the nigga once he charged at me, I'm standing over his. I'm standing over him. I'm like, that's what you get. I'm not in a panic. I'm a, I'm drunk. So I'm like, uh, that's what you get. So I started laughing, and then I call nine one one. I get in trouble obviously because I'm drunk. So I was under the influence. So for me to get that taken off my record so I can get my gun back legally, I had to do, I think it was a Wait, year. Wait, you got your shit back? Oh, hell yeah. Me hell no. Nah. That's, ain't, a, ain't shit sweet, that's boy. a terrible ruling. Hell no. Nah, that ain't shit sweet. No, nah, that um, shit terrible. All right, nigga, that's Florida for you. But, um, what's the card? So I did one year and a half of house arrest monitored by my PO and whoever was Whoever was behind the desk, because obviously now with the with the new ones, they talk to you, and they let like they want to know where you at. So whoever was behind it, they always had to monitor me whenever I left the house or wherever, whenever I want to go do something. They had to monitor me. Then after that, I did two years of probation. So once I did the two years of probation, I was clean for those two years. I never did anything. I checked in every week. I did everything they wanted me to do. So that got taken off the record. So for me. To get my gun back, now I had to redo the classes. I had to look at my concealed carry. <laughs> I passed it again, and I got my shit back. So I find out that his, that her brother told his boys, mind you, this nigga's still in a wheelchair at this time. The nigga can't spend the block. He can't do shit. They come up, and they, I don't know who it was. <laughs> that's a, that's a crazy know. thing to know. The only thing you got to do is watch out for minivans if you cripple just these niggas. <laughs> 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 Only can be in the bitty nah. van. Keep your eye out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think that car got the sticker on it. Hey, it's nah. just... <laughs> Go hey, but it's crazy because the nigga, I mean, I'm going to give him props because the nigga got heart to get his ass beat every time when, when I seen him. But that was always something with me and my ex. The nigga got heart. He always came back for another ass whooping. Like, one time I had broke his arm. And he just kept coming back. I'm like, bro, chill out. Like, what the fuck? Nigga, a zombie. Well, um, <laughs> <laughs> but um nah so then he had told one of his homeboys and his homeboys told other people and then they came up 
uh, and they sprayed the fuck out of my um, my hub yet. Hard people that hub yet. They shot your shit up. Yeah, I was aiming at it. I, so I they still looking, are they still looking for you though? For me? Yeah. Oh, uh, no. Nah. I tell myself saying, but um. No, 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 no. The people that try to shoot... The people that try to shoot you, they still looking oh, for you? Uh, no. Hell no, they all locked up. I ain't know they got locked up either. I only know them because mm. they got... I only know one of them got locked up. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Hey, you got it? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga got five niggas. <laughs> all five of them just happened to be in jail? <laughs> nigga said, all right, all I did was shoot him <laughs> twice. Y'all want to spray some shit up? Y'all niggas going to prison. <laughs> he said, Hell no. nah, he said nah, them so niggas upstate. Nah, nah, so what's crazy is two of them um, incriminated themselves and actually got locked up because they were convicted felons. And then the other one shot his girlfriend like two days ago. So he killed her. <laughs> it sounded like you reported it all because you got hella. That nigga said, "Yeah, nah, it was on, it was on, in um what's it called? It was on YouTube because it was by my crib." Oh, okay, it was by so, your crib. Yeah, so it was two days ago. He had her um, his girlfriend killed her, and now he locked up. But I mean, the nigga crippled. I I got my get back. The nigga crippled, so <laughs> I can walk. I can jump. I can run. The nigga can't. So, <laughs> and you about to go see some patients right now? The patients? What the fuck is you talking about? Is hey, you about client, to say client? client. Oh. Yeah, my clients, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that hood. That's that hood. Really, too, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was playing. Nah, but nah, I mean, oh, yeah, so my, oh, what's it called? I forgot to tell y'all. The reward did go up to 20. <laughs> what? what? What happened? My reward went up to 20. Oh, your reward up to 20 now. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's getting taken care of. I'm going in tomorrow. I can come out. Oh, tomorrow. this is the same dude? Yeah, that's what I I'm didn't saying. even know. Just let us, just let us do it, bro. You're a hate ass. You're so damn stupid. <laughs> is this the same nigga that threatened me? Yeah. Last time? Yeah. The six, I was wondering because he said 6'8. Hey, I was like, the that's other nigga said 6'8. Mike eight. had in our, I was like, we was doing yeah. notes. We was doing oh, notes for, hey, we was doing notes for the episode. Hold on, nigga. We was doing notes for the episode and, uh, and Mike had in the notes say, "Get that nigga locked up." I wonder what he was talking about. He's talking about you. Hey, y'all niggas talking. I've seen the episode and y'all getting y'all sick. And there was <laughs> yeah, that's bogus <laughs> as hell though. Yeah, no, nah, that's crazy. Hey, nah, do you... I see why you were. I see why you were doing it though. You forget things. I'll put your ass in a headlock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga. Nah, without no weapons, no weapons, no weapons, no weapons. Oh yeah, no weapons. Oh I'll yeah, I'm being this. Oh yeah, I'm being this. Hey, 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 hold on. Hey, you box? You box? Yeah. I'm gonna be in Milwaukee, uh, down Milwaukee, right? All right, man. You, 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 <laughs> no, 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 you can fight. You, you, no, 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 you can no, fight no, both no, of no, us. Where's no, no. first room? Y'all in Milwaukee, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be out there the 23rd. All right, of All right, this bro. month. Because uh, I got a I got a boxing match. Of this month. Yeah. Bet. Where at? Um, I don't know yet. They haven't given me that. I'll let y'all know. I'm Is it dropout athletics? What happened? Who you fight? What gym you fighting at? We got Mike got a uh, match coming up too. I don't know the gym name. I have to look it up. I'm gonna send out the details. Y'all might be fighting each other. <laughs> I have to beat that nigga ass for one. Nah, I'll start your ass. Uh, boy. Uh, damn, I don't know the gym name. I have to look it up. I'm gonna send out the details. Nah, I'm gonna send out the details. 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 I'm gonna send out I weigh 250. How much money you made off sports? <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to make money on sports. I make real estate money, bro. Now you 6'8", though. You, we, We'll see you in Milwaukee, though. Yeah, I'm going to have to be both of y'all ass. You're not going to be shit. But you got old as hell. You got a baby to take care of, bro. I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> what do that mean? <laughs> All right, I got you, bro. You going to go back to rocking that baby? You gonna, hey, you gonna, hey, I'm going to tell you something. You're going to be a permanent resident of this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, you never leave this bitch. <laughs> I didn't even know it was the same dude. He ain't leaving Milwaukee. He going to be really from Milwaukee. <laughs> Promise you, <laughs> he'll spend most of his they life here. They could about to become a tree in a hundred years. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> nigga, nice oak tree behind my house. First nigga to podcast on somebody grave. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Crash and Me podcast on this nigga shit. <laughs> What's going on? Like I'm, at, I'm at work right now. Y'all call me at a good time. At a good time, this nigga. Yeah. All right. Uh, you, you say you got a crazy story. You says... Uh, 
you you was about to make a new friend and then what happened? <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh I was on vacation. I went to go to go see some family in Florida. Right? And I was uh, I went to the beach by myself. So going to the beach uh, by yourself the- is crazy. Well, go ahead. No, nah, it's not. It's not crazy. Me, I didn't have no one to go with, so I'll just, I'll just trying to see the beach because I'm from California, mm. so the beach is a little different. So after I went to the mall because I was trying to get some. I don't even remember what I was trying to get, but I was trying to get some. And then I was in, uh, I was in the store, and this dude came up to me and he was like, "Oh, I like your shoes." I was like, "Oh, for sure." I think I had like the Yeezys on the 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 slides that when they just like came out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then. Uh, I was like, for sure. Like, I like yours too. And we started just chopping it up. And I was like, I'm not from out here, but uh, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what's going on, on tonight. Hold on. Tell us somebody. I like. I don't know if I'll ever say that to. Like, I'm not saying I like yours too. Is crazy. No, it's, not. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> A little bit. Go ahead. Why is it crazy though? Go ahead. Keep talking. <laughs> but um, he was like, I like your shoes. And then we started talking. I was like. Hey, uh, what's going on tonight? I'm I'm trying to get into some that water. Bottle. So pause. Uh, you told him what? I said I'm trying to get nah nah pause uh, pause pause. pause. Uh, when I was off for sure, I appreciate that. Yours is cool too. I honestly I don't know why I said that. I don't even remember what the fuck the nigga had on. But anyways, I was like I'm trying to make some plans. I'm trying to go get into some shit tonight. Pause. I know I know y'all gonna reach on that one. Uh, <laughs> but I was trying to go out. To the club because I ain't I ain't been out in the club like that in Florida, so I, like I said I was by myself. So honestly I just needed like a wingman, you know, because it's not really my thing to like go out to the club by myself. So I told him I was trying to get go to the club. He's off the show. You should hit me. We could probably pull up together because I'm trying to do something too. So I'm like bet. So we added I added him on Snapchat, and then. We went our several ways, and then he hit me like a maybe like an hour later, and he was like, "That quick? Yeah, like like an hour later." And bro, this nigga gonna start sending me like pictures of himself and shit, like, <laughs> like what you, he's like, like what you finna wear to the club? I'm like, I'm thinking like, like bro, like what you doing? Send, I didn't say nothing. I'm like, I don't, what you doing sending me pictures? Cause I ain't never been in this. That's kind of crazy. Like, I ain't never been in a situation. You guys exchange Snapchats. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for him to, regardless of the what? situation, for him to start snapping you immediately is kind of thirsty. But go ahead. <laughs> yeah. But, honestly, I had I didn't pick up the flag yet. So, I'm still <laughs> just thinking, like, it's like homies, right? <laughs> so, he, he sent me, like, a Snapchat. Like, no, he sent me, like, a couple pictures, bro. Like, this nigga was, like, posing in the mirror. Like, wh- like what should I wear tonight? Like, what you finna wear? And I just kind of, like, ignored it because I'm not going to send no nigga no pictures of me. Like, that's a little weird. <laughs> but that's just not what you into. It ain't what wh- what you expect when you guys exchange Snapchats, though? Nigga, I thought I thought I made a homie. Like, I thought he was going to be my what? wingman. Like, <laughs> why, not just get, I, why not just get his number, then? I don't know, bro. I, I wasn't <laughs> thinking that much at the time. <laughs> hey, you was doing a lot of accidental flirting through that whole story. <laughs> you was giving out compliments. Yeah, you let you let them on, bro. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. So what happened after the picture and stuff? Uh, so he was like, "Oh, we should link up before we get some food or something." And I'm thinking like, "That's not it. That's not that's not gonna happen." I was like, "For sure, I'll hit you when I'm when I'm finna pull up. So we can pull up at the same time." Because like I said, like I was just trying to find like a homie to go with. Because it's not really my thing to like go to the club or like go to bars by myself. I never actually done that before. So I was just trying to have like a wingman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the time comes, the time comes when I'm about to go, and I hit him. I was like, hey, "I'm about to head over there. I'll meet you up there." And he was like, "Man, my homie tripping. He got my car right now. I'm at the crib." <laughs> <laughs> so, the slide dog. <laughs> so he was like, "You should, you should just pull up on me, and we just kick it here." I said, "That's when I, that's when I put it together." I was like. Wait a minute. This motherfucker <laughs> think I'm the hose or something. <laughs> you, I talk said, about, you talking about where the hose at? He was like, shit. Yeah, no, no. Nah, nah. he, was, he was like, uh, I'm looking at him. I was like, I was like, nah, bro, there's hella hoes over here, bro. You got to come through. Like, I'm trying to get off of him. He was like, nah, bro, like, you should just come to the crib and just kick it. 
I was like, uh-uh, hell no, nah, bro. Nah, I was the last time I talked to that nigga. Uh, he's, uh, he like his fish wet and squirmy. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You gave him a lot of signs that yeah, you might have liked him. You let him on, bro. <laughs> I wasn't thinking, I wasn't even thinking like that. You know, like I said, I was just trying to have me a wingman. Yeah, man, you could have, I mean, you could have talked it out with him, bro. And just been like, hey, man, I'm not into that, bro. <laughs> we can still be cool, but I ain't into all the, uh, we not, <laughs> I'm into women, you're into men. Hey, Pat, what, what's up? What's up with you this and the audio listeners, about, man? You an audio listener? Hell yeah. I should have known. You talking about, I like your shoes, too. <laughs> Matter of fact, if you ever come, I'm in San Francisco, like San Francisco area right now. If y'all live out here, so gang of audio listeners going to beat your ass. In San Francisco? Hell yeah. I'm shaking in my boots. <laughs> <laughs> y'all niggas, man, y'all nah. niggas keep building computers, man. Be safe, man. <laughs> niggas. No, nah, I'm playing. I focus y'all, man. Y'all shit hella funny. Hey, appreciate you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> say, uh, that nigga traumatized. Yeah. He can't even say bye no more. What? It, it's just so annoying that, like, guns have so much power. It's annoying that it does? Yeah. Because if you think about it, everybody has the power to stop an event. It takes one bullet, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's true. One bullet. Like, you can literally wait a whole concert, all the people come out, and then Beyonce about to come out. You'd be like, I just don't want nobody else to see Beyonce today. Fa Scatter. Guns in general, they're just like the showstopper. It is. <laughs> it's almost like the I, I object. Like it's like the awkward thing. That's why I feel like. That's why I feel like a lot of people get killed because they just can't fathom that the person on the other side of the gun is like in control. So if you just do <laughs> like, let's say you a boxer, MMA dude, and blah blah, and you get in an argument with some little dude, you're like, man, I will fucking crush you. Yeah. And a little dude be like, nigga, I'm about to shoot you. So I say, there's no winning fights in in today's. today's no thing. such thing. Yeah. But what, why should that little dude have to take that beating? You know what I'm saying? I would. Five, five. Uh, see they see got the, MMA in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> you see they released the footage of um, John we'll Morant. Fight Chris Benoit. Uh, what? You see the released the image of the footage or the picture of John Morant in the oh, club. Oh, like, nigga, what was he supposed to be doing? <laughs> they like, oh, look at this image of John Morant with the stripper actually doing what but you're supposed got, to do I, in the strip club. Like, the fuck? It's still pretty funny, though. That's a lot of fucking ones. They say he spent like $50,000. That's nothing. Yeah, I know it's nothing. Game check for him. I know, but there's nothing but 50000 on a random... Uh... He's young. <laughs> He's 23. You're telling me at 23, if you had $200 million, you wouldn't have spent 50000 on a strip club? No. Yeah, I'm investing in Bitcoin. No, Fuck no. out of here. I'm going to the strip club. I'm spraying that shit. I'm 23 years old. Shit, I might tip ten thousand for no reason, just so you that know. When I come in here, the, the we nigga, my time. The nigga was in there without Woo! a shirt. Hey, <laughs> that's what I paid for. But I'm just saying, like, I'd be in that bitch in my boxers about twenty three. But I'm, but do you have to go to like, if you got fifty thousand to spend, right? Do you have to go to the establishment? What do you mean? You can bring the strip club to your house. With, <laughs> nah, you yeah. don't have to worry about no cameras. You could have flashed your gun. Somebody probably would have told you, hey, you probably shouldn't flash your gun here. He was away though. Where? He was in Colorado. Yeah, he was away. He still he could have a hotel. I'm just they saying. Not allowed, I don't think they allowed a hotel. <laughs> He's not allowed to go to a hotel, but he's allowed to go to a strip club? Yeah, maybe. Nah, that that the imagery just looks very crazy. Him at a strip club? No, 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 loss? not 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 him What's at the strip crazy? club. The money is kind of crazy. The money on the floor is is you like can, that. Shit was, you can't even see the carpet or or the couches. I, under, or anything. I understand that. That's what happens though. But the thing is that how horny was he? He was super horny. <laughs> because he had his shirt off in a strip club in a private room, and he looked like he was by himself. I th- heard he came there with security, but he was there by himself. And the way he was looking at that girl, it's like he might as well just took her home. But I'm saying, though, he's 23, <laughs> on the road by his 23-year-old male. But he going to a strip club. He just got caught. He just went live. Well, you can't even touch the girls there. It looked like he was touching. His no, foot. he did it. Bro, he, was Bro, he had his head. hands to the side like this. We know that. Everybody knows what happens in strip clubs. That was a that was his private room though. They have the footage already. Right. I mean, that's probably the one. That's probably the picture that they released. That's a that's the really it's like a surveillance video. I understand that. You think if, that was the if, only thing he did that whole time? I'm, if there was something else he did there, it would have been out. Put it out. No, they're, they're already done for putting that out. Why would you put that out? That was a, dumb a, as hell. But I I think they was trying to be like, oh, we ain't gonna put because that would be exposing them, and they it's might already be, exposing them. If you're an athlete in that state, you would not want to go to that. I that understand that. I'm saying exposing them and what you're supposed to do at a strip club, break strip club etiquette. If you if they put a picture of they 
girl being touched like that. Not in that open room. There, no, nothing was happening. Like anything crazy. That wasn't an open room. That was, that a, was private a private room. room, but it's a camera in there. It's I understand. You're not making any sense. And you're no. You're not understanding. The niggas obviously he probably he can grab some cheeks or anything, but anything further than that, they're not gonna do on fucking camera. He could do what he wants. <laughs> no, I, bro, like I'm telling you, as a, super, in that as a superstar, even if he was getting head, right, there's no way that he's going to get head from a girl they got and, there's, all cam- that shit on and camera. there's cameras right there. All that shit on camera. They got cameras in no, every room. No way. They got cameras in every room. But there's, there's no, no such thing as a room in a strip club No, there's some. There's some rooms. There's when, no. people, when people own them, when people own them, they, you know the they, owner. And the camera just gets smaller. <laughs> not a camera in the vent. <laughs> nah. There's definitely, but the, he's not going to do anything crazy on camera. No, nah, that's definitely on camera. They just don't release it. They probably got another 100000 out of it. <laughs> hey, John, let me tell you, we're going to post this picture. We could post this, but we ain't going to post that. But, yeah. But yeah, Man, free job, stuff. Morant, though. Free job, Morant? Yeah. yeah. Like I mean, he got a couple games. All he did is wave a little cricket pistol on there. <laughs> let him back. Yeah. And ja, go win the championship. It's getting tough in the West. Oh, actually, the West is not that. It's no, like it's tough. It's, it is? The Mavs. The I mean, the Suns. Kings are in second place. Kings. Yeah, that's crazy. The Kings are. Lakers second. look good. Lakers are looking good, really? Yeah. Damn. Seven and three, they last ten. So, Ja got to step it up then. Yeah, I mean, they he said, said that's a I didn't know that he have a vet on that team either. Like, the only nah, person that, on that, that team is 29. And I think it might be Steven Adams. Yeah, it's Steven Adams. Damn. They traded Steven away. They, they had Danny Green. Yeah, that's a team without best. In general, though, like that wouldn't have stopped. Like you put, Dwight nah, it, would, it wouldn't on the stopped team anything. Carmelo, but you think that's I'm just thinking as an athlete, my like he's even the best my, player on the team. Yes, I'm just saying, even as an athlete, though, I think there's still stuff that this is why it separates the greats from like the really good players. It's just that like. Obviously, I don't want to sound like an old school. Oh, Kobe wouldn't have did that, but like Kobe definitely would have did it. I mean, did I it. guess Kobe did something in the whole time. <laughs> like, bro, like <laughs> well, all well, he's just doing—he just recorded the shit. That's the only thing he recorded. The but shit. that's still, but that's Everybody's still the maturity level that. then, because LeBron wasn't yes, doing this shit. Maturity level. That's yeah. all you can say. Yeah, is the like recording shit is crazy. Yeah, record, record, For, and then you're recording shit. Usually, like, if people record themselves doing something dumb, like, that will be like me if I was 17 and I just found a gun and $50,000 in cash. Mm-hmm. Now I'm recording it because I never had the shit. And I know if I don't record it, you're not going to believe I got the shit. If I text you and be like, hey, bro, I got a gun and 50K and we 17, you like, hell no. Nah. I'm like, all right, I'm about to up it on Instagram. But, John <laughs> Morant, you showing money, nigga, we know you got 50K. What's up? What are we doing here? Like, why are we showing this off? Why are we showing these? You spending fifty k if you have two hundred million at a strip club. At a strip club, that's just not my preference. <laughs> that I'm shit, just asking. <laughs> to me, it's like I mean, I'm like I don't know a bigger scam. Only two hundred like, bucks. You said strip so. strip. I say have two hundred bucks, so it look like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So we, throw a dollar, you think they might get the rest, but not. Really. <laughs> I don't fuck with strip clubs. I don't go to strip clubs. That, the whole concept is dumb as hell to me. We have strippers listen to this podcast. Actually, I understand. Like, that, like three of them, but I'm just not a strip club nigga. I'm not dissing it. I ain't say the strippers. I'm just letting you know before what you said. The strip industry was bad. No, no, no. Make their money. Talented women. <laughs> some. <laughs> yeah, some. Of, some of y'all need some uh, some WD-40. God damn. No, but. Like a merry-go-round. I, for me, it's like anytime I spend a lot of money, I always think about, especially when it's like a, a thing I'll regret later. Because at the, at the end of the day, right, you get grinding on the strip club, right? You spend 50K. When you get home. That shit's all memory. <laughs> it's like, Nigga, I just, I'm going to get my money's worth. Run the tape back. <laughs> Damn, she was fine. <laughs> so for, for at that point, it's like you paying for like, I don't know. It's just, I would just think about everything I could have, everything I could have done with that, like 50,000. That's somebody's yearly salary that they get through on you the said, floor. You older now. That's what I'm saying. You talk about a 23 year old. That's Even right. at 23, I'm not going to lie. I know, but you're like world traveled at 23. Yeah, I feel it. Ja, like, born in South Carolina in trenches. Was he born in trenches? They are yeah. trying to say he wasn't. But that's just, like, if I went to, like, I wanted to go to a better school. Like, I almost went to uh, <laughs> a private school my senior year. So, like, what if, you know, I played in NFL and I did something. And they'd be like, oh, he ain't from, he ain't from nowhere. We went to this school. Like, uh, somebody pointing at your school is, like, Mm-hmm. credibility to that your not hood is it's like, always a weird thing too like a credibility to be hood it's just an ass backwards thing and it's like that don't mean shit i got yeah. people i know people that are like from 
the Upper Peninsula, like a town of 50, that have slapped the shit out of anybody. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, off rip. <laughs> and they'll shoot somebody. Yeah. And I know people from my hood that's bitches. Like, <laughs> like it just is what it is. Yeah. It don't matter where you from. He either, he either, you know, about that or he not. I remember. Like, I don't get, like, the he from here, he not going to do this. I remember something in a anymore. fight. And this is, like, the first time I ever, like, experienced, like, that type of thing. It was, like, when I was to get in a fight with a dude, and he's like, nigga, I'll fuck you. I'm from Detroit. And I said, what? he said, I'll fuck you up. I'm from Detroit. Okay, he said, up first, right? I don't know. He said, I'll fuck you up from Detroit. <laughs> it's fog. But anyway, he said that, and I'm like, and in my head, I was like, what does that mean? Like, what is, well, how does, we're in the middle of nowhere in Wisconsin. How does you being from anywhere dictate how this fight's going to go? It's a, it's a scare tactic, because <laughs> that shit worked before, probably. On who? He's, he's got to deal with the Lions being bad for like his whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the info. The Lions suck. They still fight you. All <laughs> but nah, but like it, it probably scares. It's, it's, it probably scares some people. But like it's, it's definitely a scare tactic on the lowest tier of scare tactics. Like it's like you, think you just told oh, me your location. <laughs> oh, I already seen your physique and everything. But you just told me you're from Detroit. I don't want to fight anymore. Like, <laughs> like nah, bro. I don't want no problem. Especially when you're not in Detroit. But I will say, I will say there's, like, different type of fighting, though. Like, some people, like, fight until, like, oh, you know, we punch, we both tired, it's over. Then it's those people that are fight that are from a different place that, like, so if I get a fight in the suburbs, like, with some, you know, like, getting, getting to it with somebody, I know they just fighting just to fight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then when they tired or they feel like they don't want to fight no more, they leaving. Like, when you fight in the hood, just be like, oh, so, like, even if I win, this will continue. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> this shit going all the way there until I get the advantage on you. If you're not willing to take it there, that's what I'm trying True. to tell you. I'm from Detroit. I'm trying to, even I'm think trying about, to kill you. I'm trying like, to think of like the last actual fight I've even been into. Yeah. I know the last fight you've been into. Me? Yeah. When? When you got stumped out at the end of a football Never. game. Never. Oh, yeah, I did get stumped out. <laughs> but I was I winning. I saw your body go into a V like. <laughs> I was winning that. I was winning that first. I got I got snake though. Yeah. Somebody hit right. me in the back of the head with a helmet. And Jeez. but then I drug somebody down with me though. That's the worst thing I ever seen was it was just like it was like such I'm so glad it wasn't me. Because you never want to be in that position uh with the kid that, you know. Someone that has a disability, mm -hmm. but they're like coming to attack you. Yeah, and they had this big six seven kid. I remember them because you know this was my this is my year. I was coaching you. Yeah, so this is my like fifth year at the school, and that kid has been there all five years, and I've seen him, and I like we know grown to know him. Like he's on like, our team. No, it was other kid. Okay, what was the, what he was, was, was the like he, he was six seven. He was autistic. Okay, and he was like their ball boy. Was he the one hit me in the back of the head with that? <laughs> <laughs> but he started going at our head of security, who's from Detroit. Yeah. And like some big, like he used to be a former cop, like he a big dude. He threw him to the ground. So the, the funny thing with that story was that the head of security, he was the one that tried to get me out the pile. So I remember seeing him get knocked down and literally too. I was like, oh shit, shit's getting real. Head of security guy is at the bottom of this pile, right? I'm like, okay, shit's getting serious. Because, you know, the thing about football fights is the dumbest thing on earth. You're taking licks and blows that don't hurt. It's just mm -hmm. people hit kicking your helmet. You might get a little concussion. But when I saw him on the floor, all I saw is a body replace his immediately. Because he snatched somebody down. They hit the ground so fucking hard. So when he pulled that person down, that's when I started chicken winging. No real punches, just like chicken winging the person down that was down there in the yeah, pocket. Yeah. At that point, you just counting. Yeah, you just counting. So like, you get back up to the boy, like, yep, 47 of the month. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then we started suspending people, like, we did. We started doing self suspension, and I was about to be so mad if I got suspended because I'm like, damn, I I got stumped out. If I get suspended for getting stumped out, that'd be insane. Your ass beat? No, I wasn't getting my ass beat. No, you got. Did you start where no. the other person started? No, it, I didn't. I was trying to help, oh, so okay, it started okay. like it was already started by the time it I was the end of a game, and you know, you meet up at the 50 yard line, yeah. and they was talking shit, and then. <laughs> One of our players fought with another one of their players. Then it started like a big fight. Then one of our, uh, actually OG, that they calls in the uh, podcast sometimes. He was on, he was on cr uh, crutches, yeah. so he was throwing punches and shit. Then I saw somebody come out and like blast his ass. <laughs> so I was like, oh shit, OG. So I pulled the dude off, and then some dude in sweats from the, the sideline came in, like swung the helmet and hit me, and I fell. And I just remember just like feet just getting, you know. Just start seeing soft feet. as hell. Nah, that's not soft. Did you guys win that game or lose that game? Oh, we won. We won. That's why they fought. Yeah. We won. 
But the yeah. thing uh, it was a lot. There's a lot of factors in that story. But you know, like some people are tougher in those situations than they would be in real life. Yeah. So it was just like it was like one of those situations. Like anybody, like I've like had, you know, like people like try to fight me during practice or a game, and I just be looking at them like, "Bruh, I know you won't do this shit." I was exactly. Like, like, what are you doing? So you just gotta like look at them like that. Football fights are like the most meaningless fights. Meaningless fights because they won't. You won't ever get a clean lick. You literally can't yeah. get your ass beat. Yeah. Like the worst thing you could do is somebody's like on top of you, like punching you. But yeah. again, you have a helmet. You know what I did though on. that that does annoy people. What I would just grab the fuck out their face mask and like crank their shit. Oh. So so you know that feels annoying. It's not, yeah. It doesn't hurt, but it feels like you get hold though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when you when you guide somebody the way you want to go with them by their face mask. I like, I only got one move. I learned it a long time ago. <laughs> what? Just a neck punch. <laughs> Damn. I always like if I'm at a bottle and pile on somebody, <laughs> I I'm the person that like up the ante because I feel like slighted. I used to like start when I was at the bottom of the pile at uh Benedictine. See, yeah, Benedictine. Mm-hmm. I was in the bottom of the pile. It was all good. Everybody peeling off each other, and I had the I literally literally just picked up a fumble, and I like had it like that. It was already our ball. I'm about to let the ball go. Dude, karate chops my hand while he's rolling over, so I like punch him right in this goddamn throat. <laughs> It was like, you know, one of them punches that you can't see land Mm -hmm. or you'll get caught by a referee. Yeah. So I was like, all I heard. I was hoping for a noise like that. This thing is dying. Yeah, bitch. I I ain't going to lie. It's like, you ever try to kill somebody and then hope they're not dead? I was like, I'm trying to kill you, but ooh, I hope that (laughs) was. That was with me when I was a kid. When I I think I told the story, but when my brother was fighting a kid that knew karate, yeah, 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 and then yeah, I jumped him and, and and tried to choke him out, <laughs> and then I was like, "Oh shit, I gotta stop!" Bro. I know it's like <laughs> everybody want to fight until the dude hit the, hit his head on the oven. Yeah, you know? <laughs> he bleeding out. That'd be the worst part of movie, bro. Like, that's yeah. I know that's and that's the scary part in general about like fights too. Just like especially like if it's just like fist to fist, like you hitting somebody, they freaking fall and they crack their head open. I was like. It's more than it needs to be. And the thing is, is like, because they amp, you know, people can amp you up. Like, I've literally, you ever face, like, you ever, like, so you ever got in an argument with somebody and they called you out on something and then you guys did that action and then you'd be like, bro, what? Like, just so, something as simple as like, man, you probably trash it, but you can't beat me. You can't beat, like, this dude talking for a month. You play him one-on-one and, like, the dude can't even make, like, a left-hand layup, mm-hmm. like, even if, like, you thought you could beat me, you're not good at basketball at all. Yeah. And it's crazy that you were talking like that. Mm-hmm. And people do the same thing when it comes to fighting. Yeah. So you'll be talking to somebody, and they'll be like, I'll kill you. Be like, damn, this dude got to be able to do something if he's talking like that. So you go in there with all full force, and then you don't realize, like, damn, he ain't got a hit in. Like, this, he was just talking. So my opening move was always a slap. Now he dead. That's crazy. Yeah, because if they grab their face, they soft as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's just an African thing. You just slap a dude, and it's like, it, to see what they're going to actually do back. Yeah. And it's like, they, they, you know, sometimes the time it happened, it was more of a like, oh, that's what you were on? That's what we on? Yeah, if you... T- if, <laughs> yeah. I know Once you Once I hear hoe. that, I'm like, okay, then then I'm, I'm like, this is not going to be a fight. I know you, ho. I'm the, I'm, <laughs> if I... If I get punched, I like. There's no more words. Like, what else? Can, <laughs> this what we on? This a movie, nigga. Like, what? I don't know what I would do right now. If somebody punched me out of nowhere, though. I don't. I think I would black out. Hundred <laughs> percent. The thing though, because I'm so, ass. I'm so like whoever self- in the car, your son in there. <laughs> like he's so self aware now, though, that it can go left pretty quickly as well, though. Yeah, that's the thing. That I and. That's why I obviously haven't been to like a real like I've been in boxing but not like a street fight in so long because I just wanted to be like what would happen that but that that's the worst thing <laughs> that could possibly happen is the fact that if you're good at fighting like so if two dudes who are good at fighting mm-hmm. right so you meet up you fight the dude and y'all both like kind of even you never felt like your life was in danger yeah you felt like you were just fighting like a competition type right. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all can both fight. Mm-hmm. But when one person can't, so when you was beating their ass, they felt like, damn, this dude can kill me at any time. Yeah. So when I pull out this gun, <laughs> just know I can kill you at any time now. <laughs> and I'm guessing, like, some people don't have, like, I will worry about myself in that situation. Some people don't got, like, the, the, the perfect drop-off to, like, to cop out. Yeah. Like, I might be so hyped somebody pull a gun on me after we fight, and I'm still cussing them out, like, oh. <laughs> That ain't your line, Bucko. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would stop right there. You gotta show I, a little, a, a little more, uh, 
A little more fear? No, I'm talking about, he tell you, say your ABCs, say your ABCs. <laughs> no, that's crazy. Let us see another day. I mean, yeah, but then you, I remember you said this story. If somebody pulls the camera, that's when yeah, it all goes out the window. If it's being recorded, that's different. <laughs> being recorded. That, that means it's probably safer, right? If someone's got a camera out. I don't know, but hey, I ain't going out like no hole on camera. <laughs> Shoot me, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> I never got in a fight because I had 19 people in my graduating class. If you've never been in a fight, you've never been in a fight. I don't mean you can't shoot a nigga. <laughs> shoot a person. <laughs> no, yeah, there, there was 19, 19 people in my class, though. That's insane. Five, five girls, six girls, maybe. Six girls? Yeah. Was then, it, did any of all of them look good? No, there was like... There on was, a scale of one to six. <laughs> one to six, six. There was like two two sixes. Oh, shit. Yeah. So that was a top? Yeah. There was like two in my grade that were like... Yeah. They're hearing you right now. What are they going to say about that? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> for prom, you know how it's like only senior year? Yeah. For people, it was every, all high school. Uh, oh, yeah, I did a school-wide prom? Yeah. All, all, also, <laughs> I didn't even go to prom. The school I went to was, uh, I started at like preschool all the way. It's like the same school. So you knew all the other 18 people the yeah. whole time? Yeah. So they're like all like, we got all, like Where'd you go to school? I'll leave, I'll leave this out, though. Where'd you go to school? Ke- uh, Rockford, Illinois. Oh, you just you told me that. Oh yeah, Rockford. Yeah. yeah. Oh, let's talk about that story. You saw the the story of these four people. They went to Mexico. Uh, one woman wanted to get either tummy tuck or BBL. I, I can't I can't remember correctly. But they went there, and I guess while they was driving through Tulum, however you pronounce it, Tulum, Tulum. Fuck, I can't let you go out like that. Hey, it is what it is. <laughs> I just saw it. No, you good, you good. Uh, fuck you, nigga. But um, but yeah, they went there and. <laughs> The cartel killed two of them. It wasn't the cartel. It wasn't the cartel. Yes. I Actually, man, shout out to the cartel. <laughs> no, so I, I, I'll explain. Just, it it, it kind of was, but it wasn't. Um, so, yeah, they went to get a, t- a tummy tuck in, in, in Mexico, right? Well, they what pe- people perceived as the cartel, but it was people acting on their own. Yes, because the cartel did, then came out and said those guys were dealt with. Yeah, yeah. No, they, they tied them up and put them on. They did? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because they, they acted on their own. Yeah, they acted on they their own. They apologized. Like, for a cartel to apologize is kind of like, I mean. It's like an organization type shit. But then. But, I mean, who you think giving them they got? Oh, yeah, I'm probably not supposed to say that. <laughs> but. Who you think, where do you think they get their guns from? Should we get their guns from them? I'm saying, where do you think they get the money? Drugs from America. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. But either way, they were driving through Mexico and. They got kid. They got uh, kidnapped. I think some of them were actually like shot at that point. Like there, like they were shooting up the car, and I think two people died in that sense. And I think, from what I understand, I could be completely wrong. The two people that got kidnapped, they were still alive. They were alive, mm-hmm. but I think I don't know if they killed them after they kidnapped them. Right. But I think that some of them died there. Yeah, I saw uh, the video of the dude getting dragged to the bed of the truck. Yeah. That shit's kind of scary, though. It looks like he's dead. But to be driving in another country, like, un- especially, like... With no security, like... Leaders, not even or- security, but just, like, yeah. But the thing is... Um, like, on your you own... Wanna, but you can get the Any same country, thing. like, I wouldn't advise anybody to go, like, to Nigeria and, and start driving on your own. If you've never been there, you don't know anybody from there. Yeah, some people, like, that's... <laughs> uh, regardless of what it is, you know, there's a bunch of rumors that they were mistaken for, like, Haitians and stuff like that or, like, whatever was going on. That's the whole point of it. You yeah. don't fucking know that. You don't yeah. know, like, what type of war. Like, you'll talk to some people, and if you, like, go to, like, certain people, like, you go to South Side Chicago, some people literally can tell you, hey, if you go here, you could die. Yeah. Like, you drive through that hood, it's a dead end, everybody gonna see you, and they can tell if nobody ever, mm-hmm. you, you never been over there, they know everybody over there. Yeah. The same thing, like, with other countries, it, and it's even worse. Yeah, especially when you go to, like, these resorts, they le- le- legit tell you, like, don't, like, leave the resort, like, like be safe Always where you're going. those people that do, bro. <laughs> yeah. like, that's why they make, like, those... But they drove from, like, the United States through the border to get to where they were trying to get to. Insane. Bro. It's like such a long drive. The, the surgery must have been cheap as hell to like for her to bypass all that stuff like safety. Yeah, I would think stuff. so. Yeah, that's yeah. But I repeat to them. That's just a, a lesson for everybody though too. Like you got to be a, a hyper aware of your surroundings. Super hyper. Oh, almost freaking burped. Anyways, you know the, who the most dangerous person on earth is? Me. Ah, uh, somebody who broke. <laughs> So maybe broke is the most dangerous person on earth. Hundred percent. Why? They got nothing to lose, right? 
I saw. I, I'm saying this. I saw a podcast. Uh, Lou Williams was telling that story about how like dude like almost got robbed. He got too. robbed at a, basically got robbed at a stoplight, and dude was like, "Man, I can't even do you like that." But all I got is this gun and five dollars. Like. Mm-hmm. I'm hungry and I'm stuff like that. Like that's insane thing. Like about America is like somebody can access a gun before like they. <laughs> yeah, I mean you can find a gun on the streets these days. That's what on I'm accident. <laughs> on accident, but you can't find a like a like a, a <laughs> forty dollars, forty dollars or a decent cheeseburger. Like, mm-hmm. So you've got the that shit is just stupid, bro. That shit is all a, <laughs> shit is a trap, man. I found twenty dollars in my pocket the other day. Shout out to my lawyer, man. You got a lawyer. Mm-hmm. What what have you ever been to court for? All right, that's Crash Dummies. What uh, have you ever been to court for anything? Crash Dummies episode. Have it's you ever been to court? Court? Yeah, for any reason. Have you ever been to court? Me? Yeah. No. All right. Then. I've never been inside a courtroom. Is jury duty? I won't say what happened because I don't want to say on the podcast because they can use it against me, but. I plead the fifth on that um, question. That you did jury duty? No, no, no. Huh? Nope, never done it. No, you already fucked up. I never done jury get him. duty. Let's get him. He told us about the whole case. We know what happened. <laughs> That'd be crazy if they start if they're doing like the uh, YSL case. You just see my face in the back. Like, is that Mike? That'd be crazy. <laughs> That'd be some claim to fame. <laughs> You know, some people would love to be picked up. Oh my! I couldn't be on no jury. I would have been. I would have told every business on this podcast. Nah, I, it would have been. It would have been too hard for me not to rap. <laughs> Try not to rap. First, you get that money, then you get that power. Okay? <laughs> oh duck, shit! Duck, duck. Yo. Big <laughs> anyway, fan. this has been Crash Dummies episode eighty nine. Nine. Subscribe yeah. to. YouTube. YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Bam. TikTok. TikTok. Join the Discord. Max will put the Discord in the YouTube's description. Please come to the Discord, liven it up, because there's some fuck niggas in there. Yeah, they always bring this part back up, too, when you start talking about them. <laughs> yeah, they they do? Yeah. I don't care, man. No, nah, you know, the Dez dude is cool, but it's some it's it's some, it's some it's some other people in there. Everybody, I think everybody there is cool but Brandon. That's about it. Yeah, that's what it really is. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all we want to say. Once we kick him out, then it's fine. Everybody. Yeah, Brandon, you're on probation. Yeah, you're on probation for a week, my boy. All right. This has been episode 89. Why did I keep forgetting? 89. Peace. Man, fuck you, man. Happy Kwanzaa. Ain't no damn Kwanzaa. Ain't this uh, holiday with the candles and shit? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>